G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Southern Cross Station. Yes, we are back continuing on at Southern Cross, getting our harvest on, getting our baling done, getting a whole pile of stuff done, in actual fact. And uh, today is going to be no different. We are going to continue on with the harvest, which is going on on field three. Um, that is currently in progress. And uh, we are also going to uh, continue picking up the straw from this field. Uh, we'll then have to go to field three and get the straw from that field. Uh, we've got some grass mowing and collecting and baling to do as well, although we can't do the baling at the moment because we're using the baler for the straw. So, yeah, we've got lots of things going on. Uh, we do need to look at our production as well. So, um, yeah, lots of things to do. In fact, we've got one of the combine harvesters ready to unload now, so we'll be going over there shortly. Just going to get a bit more baling done. Now we finished this field uh, in yesterday's game day. Um, we uh, we just want to get all this done because once we've bailed it, we then have to come and collect it and then put it away or use it for the sheep, uh, for the cows or whatever else. And in fact, I've just realised I can't use the bales because the bales were going for the feed but not for the um, barn itself. So I do need to collect some um, straw instead of baling it all. So. Yeah, we're not going to bail it all up. Anyway, that's all right. We can we can deal with that. So with field three, we'll probably do the head of rows. We'll just collect that with the um, the loading wagon, collect up a whole pile of straw that way, uh, and then uh, perhaps with these ones, we'll um, with the smaller fields, we'll just bail it. <coughs> The problem with the loading wagon is I, I, I've got to do multiple loads and then and go back and dump it in the farm. I can't... I, I'd like a loading wagon that had um, an auger attachment, so a pipe. So basically you can go and collect it all on the field, but then you have a truck. Same as what you do with a combine, you have a truck um, waiting on the side of the field. And then as you load up the, the, the wagon, you go and offload it into a truck. That would be a, a nice implement. I'm surprised there isn't one already out there. It probably already is. I mean, surely I'm not the only person that's thought of that. But, um, yeah, that, that would be quite handy, I would think. Still only got the one combine ready to unload. The other combine's about to be ready to unload, so that's okay. All right, so we're going to come down. We'll finish this run here, then we'll turn around, then we'll go and offload our combines. Okay, day. Let's go uh, over and do the combine unloading. Okay. We've got, we got 93,000, 60%. So um, we'll offload this after we unload these two combines. We've got the truck there standing by, ready, willing, and able. And it's got, what, 125,000 litres per trailer, I think, at the moment in that configuration. So there's 250,000 litres can go into there. We're going to half, basically go close to filling up one of those in one load. So, um... Yeah, it'll be all good. So the other one is going to go until it's a hundred percent. Waiting, waiting. So I can't remember. So this one must be. This one could be 150. No, it wouldn't be 150%. Yeah, it would be 150%. Uh, 150%. 
150,000 the capacity of this um, this auger wagon. So it'll take more than what the trailers will uh, on the semi. So. All right, we're going to turn around. This is going to go a little bit further and he's going to stop right there. There we go. And we really don't want him to catch up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, stop him for the moment. And let him stop. And I'll start him again after I've offloaded this. I want to give them a bit of separation again. So he's at 50%, another 10,000 to go, which will take us up to about 130,000 in this uh, this load. So that will fill up one trailer. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Um, I want to go check out the contracts. Uh, wood, sugarcane, ice cream and corn, not helping us at all. That's okay. Uh, animals, we need to go and get some feed for the sheep. Uh, which is okay, we'll do that. And the cows look okay. There's 62,000 litres of milk available in the cow barn. So we need to get that um, out to the dairy as well. All right. He's done. Right, so let's go and uh, we'll get this offload into the truck. Let him continue on so he's a little bit ahead. Spout out. Go and take out the cab of the truck. So let's just take it a bit easy. We've damaged many, many a truck and trailer and tractor <laughs> and spout, combine. Oh, we, you name it, we've damaged it. Sell the combine out. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to I'm going to leave it a bit longer. I'm going to offload the other combine, and then I'm going to go and start the other combine. So they're they're effectively separated by one load. If we're using the same combine, it's a little bit easier to manage. Um, But um, anyway, that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. Okay. Let's so the load in here. Excellent. Offload it. Done. All right, let's go offload the combine again. So I'll offload this and then I'll just walk over and start the other combine up. And that way I don't have to try and um, reverse the way back out to go and unload him. Well, he doesn't have to unload anyway. We've already unloaded him, haven't we? So he just needs to be started. Okay. Coming up, coming up, coming up. There we go. Done. He's at 60%, unloading nice and quick, 50, Thirty. Twenty. 10, and we're going to start getting out of there, so we're out of trouble, right, there we go, alright, jump out, I got the combine. Oh, other side. Right, fine. 
and all we need to do now is go uh, nearest waypoint and start him off and off he goes all right we'll leave that tractor there okay let's go and continue bailing I don't want to have anything better to do for the moment uh, I'll get to it eventually <laughs> oh there's so much gear here isn't there maybe I should sell some stuff maybe I've got too much all right let's continue well, no, we haven't got too much because it was go big, go home. So we're always going to have a lot of stuff on the farm, weren't we? So. <clears throat> we're not planning on going home yet. Oh, we are home. We're home, me Oz. The land down under. I hope you're all enjoying the little tidbits of information that come up in these video, in this video series as well. Um, the bit of Australiana type stuff. Um, if you are, let me know. Um, but... Uh, just little, little tidbit facts and matters of interest and stuff like that. Um, we'll keep them going for a while. But, um, yeah. So I hope you're enjoying those. <clears throat> I've actually been enjoying looking at them because some stuff I've, I've not been <clears throat> aware of myself. So it's, um, it's been a bit educational for me as well, which is good. All right. That all the head is done? I think it is, yes. Right, so we'll come back down over here and I'll start doing the up-down rows here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. I'm going to get all these large clumps out of the way. Right. Oh, that's a bit ahead of right there, isn't there? Right. Dodge the bale. We'll clean up those other bits as well as we go up and down the uh, the aisle. So to speak. I mean, we're not gonna. We're never gonna get it to perfect. We're not gonna, we're not gonna get to the point where we pick up every little piece. Um, that's just being stupid. But we'll get the, we'll get the bulk of it. The other thing is with using this as well, like I was saying before, you don't have to be so precise, like we don't have to be lined up perfectly with the swath. We can, um, we can be a little bit more relaxed in how we come in and approach it. So we, we know we're going to pick it up. Um, and if we're not aligned to it, that's okay. But it means we can uh, align ourselves to the turns and that a little bit better. And not have to worry about being so perfectly aligned when we start picking up. Combines are almost ready to unload again. 92%, 94%. We'll probably get this row done and I'll come up and say that they're uh, ready to offload. Right, 6%, there we go, one's ready to go. ourselves ready to start again then we'll grow over and we'll get them unloaded 
Okay. Plenty of bales. Right, you, you, where are you? There you are. Right. So we've almost finished the harvest of this field, which is great. And then we'll have to go and have a look and see what's going to be next on the horizon. We'll do that while we're unloading this combine down here. We'll have a look and see what other fields are going to be coming in ready to harvest very, very soon. Okay, offload. Right, so let's have a look. Right, up here we're going to have a look at the fields. So we've harvested field 13. We've harvested field 20 with the grass. We've got to go pick grass up. We've almost finished harvesting field three. So next on the horizon is going to be field 23 and field two. Now what's in those? Let's uh, go and uh, remind ourselves. We've got oat in field two. So it's the only oat field we've got. And then we've got barley in field 23. So that's okay. We've got some more barley coming. So that's going to give us straw. We've got straw from there. We've got straw from down here. We're going to get straw in field one and 14. So straw isn't really going to be a problem to us. Um, now, we're looking at what fields um, would be ready. Now, cotton. Cotton there. Um, look and see. Uh, field 12, 19. Field 19. In fact, what, how much is field 19? 112. It's not that bad. Field 21. So we can buy those, but anyway. That's all we're going to do. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the um, the sheds. Now I think about it. Let's go and have a look at the sheds. So, did I activate the sheds? Uh, no, I didn't activate the sheds. Oh, duck, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, well we're not going to do the shed work now. So, uh, that's okay. Right, so you're done. You need to go and offload the other combine. <clears throat> Distance drawing of that combine is pretty poor, isn't it? Look at that. So it's wheels only, wheels only. There we go. <laughs> All right, offload this guy. All right, and then we're going to go back and do some more straw work because we can. We'll get there eventually. There we are. All right. Let's see if we can get most of this finished. We should be able to get this finished almost. We've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six runs to do. Shouldn't take us too long. All right. Flying through, flying through, flying through. I do love this um, this dust mod. It throws out the def extra dust from the units, and that it is um, great. As I'm not watching what I'm doing, um, I do really do really do like it. In fact, what we should do is while we're here in uh, in Australia, we should really be upping the dust. Uh, let me have a look. What was it? Um, left shift and. Right, two times the amount of dust because it's really dusty here in Australia. <laughs> there you go, that's, that's more reticent of what we expect to see in Australia. <laughs> what tractor? I can't see no stinking tractor. I mean, that is, that is what I'd expect to see from a tractor running in a dry, dry-ish field. So... I think that's what we'll do. We'll leave it set like that for uh, the Southern Cross Station. All we need now is to replace the deers with kangaroo.
I love it. I mean, it does it does impact the GPU a little bit, but um, not not enough to worry about. The other thing is too, it'd be good. I don't know if it does. I don't. I don't believe it does. Uh, it'd be good if the higher the dust you have the more dusty and dirty the tractor becomes or the quicker it becomes dusty and dirty uh, that would also be good so like for instance because the the baler is following on behind it like to have a, a an extra amount of dirt and dust building up because of because of all the extra dust that would be good all right around we go again an ultimate run. How many bales do you reckon we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40 is about. Maybe close to 50 bales, I think. We'll find out soon enough when we come and collect them all. Which means that's going to be what, about 250 odd thousand litres of bale of straw, I think. I'm buying ready to offload again. So, yeah, it's a fair, fair amount of straw come off just this small field, so that's good. Okay. So, uh, turn that off. We're going to offload the bales. Okay. And we're going to fold it up. Get that last bale out. Thank you. Tiddy boo, done. Excellent. Now, no rest for the wicked. We're going to head straight over and get the grass baled up as well. Take him over there, get prepped, ready to go. Plenty of work to do, plenty of work. So I leave him there for now. We're going to go and get these uh, combines sorted. Uh, not you. You need to be unloaded. And so do you. Right. There we go. It's going to go close to a full load for the trailer. It's going to go about 200,000 litres of barley from this field which isn't too bad of a yield I guess Let's see where we're at um bum, bum, bum. yeah so basically we're all but done excellent So that means what we can do is I can jump out of him. We can take the combine. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. He's folded himself up. Very good. And we're just going to drop the header. Why don't you and drop the header? I did start the engine. Is 
the bloody stream deck again. Thank you. That's better. Right. Thank you. Right. That's done. I'm going to move you out of the way. Because he's going to stop there. Put his pipe out. Are you going to stop there and put your pipe out? Or are you just going to continue on doing... What are you doing? Right, he's going to finish there. Okay. That's right. I'm going to go over and grab this guy, move him out of the way. Job done for him. Right. Here we go. We now move him out of the way. Okay, we'll run back over here. Unload him, then unload the auger wagon, then we'll fold up the combine, put it all away, and uh, then it's time to get the straw off the field. Now, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I've been umming and arguing about this, and I'm definitely going to do it, but I don't think I've got it enabled. I want to get... Um, I do have it. I have the swadro. I'm going to buy the Swadro. Um, I'm going to put that to 25. Uh, now, the reason I want to get the Swadro is because I can use it on the bigger fields and um, we should be able to make better windrows. I'm going to buy that. Yep, thank you. Right, done, done. Uh, what's on special? Anything? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm... I've, I've been toying with buying the link. I don't think I'm going to need it. That's the thing. Like... I don't tend to find there's a use really in game for the utes and stuff like that. Um, I mean, look, I know some people do, and we could use it to tow headers around and, and stuff like that. But I mean, me personally, that's what I have the tractors for. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Probably not going to worry about it. So you're going to offload there. Uh, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to jump out from you. We're going to run over here. We're going to fold up the combine, deal with the combine. There we go. I'm going to clear the course. Right, we're going to do that. Turn him on. Lower. Thank you. Drop that off. All right, that's field three harvest done. Well, the main crop harvest. Now we've got to harvest the straw. Okay. Excellent. Bring both the combines over here. Magnificent. Well done. Right. Shut you off. And I'm going to shut you off as well. Thank you. Right. Come back over here. We can shut you off. Right. Done. Then we can take the truck back in. Offload the truck. <clears throat> What we get? 213,000 litres. Not too bad. Take this in, pump it in the silo, then we'll bring all the equipment off the field. We'll go bale some grass. We've got lots of things to do still. It's not as if we're running out of... Um, tasks but um that will be it pretty much for this episode it's gone very quickly hasn't it we've got lots of things done though 
So two fields now fully harvested. I'm just going to get the straw off the second field, field three. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good. We've got a contract fulfilled. We've been very busy. It's been very good. Right, I'll fly this into the silos. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button or the dislike button or the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to call it, um, to help us with the algorithm. Really appreciate the like or the dislike. doesn't matter which one. Um, go hit it, spam it, whatever. Pay your brothers and sisters to hit it. I don't care. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I won't hold that against you. I'm sure no one else will. Um, but if you do subscribe, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. And, of course, don't forget, join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details down below in the description. But most importantly of all, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. See you all later. Bye.